This methodology is drawn from um, previous studies done in different countries, for example, UK, US and Canada. And uh, this has three aspects basically. One is that uh, it measures the, the cost of various services that the, the vow victim faces like uh, health services, the judiciary services, uh, social services. Then also we are uh, estimating if a person is not uh, or could not attend um, paid work, what is the loss of income, personal income. The third part that we are doing is to bring all those into a very simple economy at modeling to find out what could be the cost on agriculture sector, the industry sector and services sector. I think one major area where we are quite different from others is that for the first time we believe we have brought into the, the economic modeling aspect into the costing exercise of VAW, which uh, were not uh, used in other studies. Through this project, we, we uh, expect to see that uh, government in different countries would take a specific program through which they will uh, try to reduce the violence against women and girls. And in, in that respect, it also, I think, uh, will indirectly help uh, better participation of women in the job market. Through that one, their contribution to the whole economic activity will increase. I mean, we have started with Seychelles only. The first round uh, of work has been done. One thing that we recommend is that um, in terms of that, uh, the, the issue of uh, violence against women should be uh, included in their development plans, forefront. Uh, then they should earmark um, special resources uh, from their budget to prevent and also improve the service delivery as well as data collection.